Hi Capricorn, welcome to your bonus reading for April. This is Mary, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we are going to take a little bit of a peek into life, uh, love, what's going on in your life right now, maybe for some of you, and then we'll get some universal energies, uh, messages from spirit, messages from the universe, advice, guidance uh, that you may need right now and then we'll clarify all this energy with the tarot so my intention with this is if your monthly readings or some of your monthly readings did not resonate with for you maybe something here will so please only take the messages that come out here that resonate for you and leave the rest it may or may not be for you uh, maybe just parts of it so please please keep that in mind um, the energy can be interchangeable it could be somebody around you uh, affecting you if it's not your story so please keep that in mind also this could be past, present, or future. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You can be male or female watching this. That doesn't really matter. And we'll see what messages we get for you for this bonus reading. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to take a little peek into love at this time, see what's going on for the Capricorn Collective at this time for this bonus reading and love for Capricorn Spirit, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and everything you need to know, Capricorn, is in the description box below. I had to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there, so please go take a look if you'd like to. And if you're new to my channel and like how I read, feel free to check it out, and um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I offer about five different readings a month, so if you do, thank you. All right, so let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn... And love take a little peek in love see what's going on at this time here we go so we have Our Lady of Radiant Grace and we have 33 there double three and three is about teamwork collaboration social energy um, but Our Lady of Radiant Grace so <clears throat> this is about being grateful having grace having posture composure um, having morals and values um, just being graceful and grateful and thankful and doing things with ease and peace and harmony. So we'll see how that plays into your love reading. I, I'm thinking um, being grateful for a connection here. Also, so let's see what's on the bottom. Our Lady of Answered Prayers. And oh, Wow. <laughs> and I'm like being thankful. And then we have Answered Prayers. I can't make this up. We have number seven is a uh, very spiritual, divinely guided energy. So I feel like here that you may have met somebody here. It's like an answer to your prayers, whether it's somebody new or someone you've been with for a long period of time. It's like, you know, they've always been the answer to my prayers and I'm always graceful and grateful and thankful for this person in my life. Wow, Cap. All right. We'll see. We'll clarify with the tarot. Or maybe you're needing to be um, in that energy. Or you could have this energy coming towards you. You know, once we all get out, out of isolation and quarantine in the future. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on in the life of Capricorn right now. For the collective spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For Capricorn in this bonus reading. What's going on in the life of the Capricorn collective? You could get anything here. So what's going on with Capricorn, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. I'm feeling, oh, there's two there. Well, let's take that one. All right. Wow, we have solar plexus chakra. We have 15, which is six. Six again about healing, balancing energy, which we have that over here. So the solar plexus chakra is in your belly, and it's about your soul mission, your soul purpose. It's about who you are, being true to yourself, um, kind of energy it's about how you react to situations and things that make you unique in who you are being in control of that energy of your life purpose hmm. all right having like that uh, fire in your belly and your passion and purpose for life all right so let's see what's on the bottom and the base chakra are you kidding me right now two chakras coming out chakra base chakra and one is about a new beginning um but the base chakra is about your basis, your foundation. It's like 
what makes you sh makes you secure, makes uh, your stability, what makes your stability. So it's your home, your family, your friends, your work, your career, your money, your finances, um, and all that kind of energy is what lays the basis of your foundation of your life. So, wow. Okay. So <laughs> feeling very rooted and grounded and you could be having some sort of new beginning. I mean, in work or career, I mean, maybe after this uh, whole outbreak is over and done with and maybe following your life mission now, you know, in this time we're in, maybe being in that reflective mode and figuring out, you know what, I think I really would rather live and I'm seeing the sun here, my life miss mission, my life purpose, what I have the fire in my belly for and my soul for and like reevaluating your foundation sort of in a way and that one could be having a new beginning wow for some of you all right so let's see let's get some messages for the universe for you capricorn let's get some messages now i know these cards over here i know they say our lady and i know i said this is for male or female this is the mother mary oracle so it speaks as if it's um mother mary so our lady is in reference to mother mary so just keep that in mind all right so let's see capricorn 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 or this is telling you here that if you reevaluate your foundation and you strive for a new beginning by following your life purpose and mission it will bring you uh, better healing and balance. Because if you add one, one, five, that's seven. And a seven is again about divinely guided uh, spiritual energies. So maybe something divinely guided for you that you're meant to uh, walk on that path, Capricorn. All right, so let's get some advice, guidance, uh, messages from spirit, the universe for you at this time. What does Capricorn need to know for the collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Messages from Spirit, the Universe, advice, guidance. Oh, I just saw begin to explore, so you could be doing that right now. What do we need to know? I'm feeling that way. Do something different. I can't make this. <laughs> wow. Some of you, I feel like, do something different. Exactly. Could be in re reference to over here doing something maybe different with your work, career, fine, uh, life, or something like that. You know, the base chakra is like how you're rooted in life. All right. And then we have reach for the stars. Wow. I can't make this up. Do something different and reach for the stars, Cap, Capricorn. Wow. Reaching, going for it. Reaching for the stars. Making a change. Doing By doing something different. Wow. Okay. I'm getting like a lot of excitement, fire, passion, um, kind of energy. All right. So let's clarify these energies for you Capricorn for this bonus reading. Spirit, please. For the Capricorn Collective for this bonus reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <clears throat> so what is this answered prayers and grace about in love? Capricorn, please, Spirit, for the collective. For the collective. And so we have the Eight of Wands, fiery, passionate communication, travel, action. Hmm, okay, so what is that about? Traveling or taking action or communication. Ten of Cups in reverse. Hmm. You know, the Ten of Cups in reverse, uh, Ten of Cups upright is usually about total fulfillment, happiness, and joy. Uh, fulfillment in every single way, happy home and family, emotional fulfillment, but not feeling emotionally fulfilled in a connection here, but taking action, taking action on something. So what are we doing here? What are we taking action on? What's going on? Wow. So we have the tower, the two of cups and the lovers. Some of you could be leaving one connection to go to another connection that you believe is your answer to prayer that you believe the two of cups is your soulmate and your true lover soulmate here possible twin flame soulmate that's what could be happening some of you i feel like okay i'll leave any, leaving an unhappy situation that's not fulfilling taking action traveling towards you know, this could be a breakup shakedown with the tower 
I want to move towards your soulmate twin flame here with the lovers and the two of cups. Some of you could be reevaluating um, <clears throat> your current connection, having an epiphany and aha moment and realizing we need to do something here in this connection, taking action on that with the eight of wands to um, rectify the soulmate twin flame connection in some way. So kind of two uh, messages here. So let's see. Let's get another one. It's too many. What's going on here? Are they leaving? Are they staying? Are they working it out? The devil. Yeah. Toxic energy here. That's our energy, though. That's Capricorn. It could be, you know, just a lot of fighting, bickering, not seeing eye to eye, or a very strong sexual, uh, passionate connection between somebody. Obsessions, addictions, um, kind of energy. All right, so, and the high priestess. So, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Maybe keeping a lot of things to yourself, not telling anybody what's going on here. All right, what else? What else here for Capricorn? Could be secrets. Could have found out a secret. Yeah, so we have the Five of Cups here, which is sadness, hurt, um, loneliness, remorse, regret. Hmm. I'm getting, you know, some of you could have been in a connection here that was very toxic. A lot of, like, fighting, arguing that left, you know, a lot of tears, hurtful energy, maybe not telling anyone what was going on. But with the Ten of Cups energy here in reverse in the uh, tower here, I feel like some here are, especially the Eight of Wands, taking action. Taking action and leaving this situation. So... But we do have the answer of prayers and radiant grace. So, you know, why do we have that energy here if this is an energy of leaving a toxic situation that's no longer fulfilling? Do we have temperance here, though, which is about balance, patience, healing, um, kind of energy? This temperance angel usually brings the soulmates together. So I feel like some of you are going to maybe work this out and balance this uh, connection back out. Finally, you know, ha being grateful, thankful uh, about this connection and realizing, you know, you're both each other's prayers and trying, you know, to balance out the energies or some of you may just uh, leave a connection and go towards another one. Some of you could be married here, the Hierophant, or a long-term connection. Maybe for some of you that are married, you're going to work it out here and finally being grateful for each other realizing you are each other's answered prayers, taking it like on a new level, a new direction, or some of you are leaving a marriage, I feel. Wow. I just got this kind of, yeah, five, five of swords energy. So it's like, do I stay or do I go? Do I fight for this or do I turn around and walk away? So I just got this kind of energy for um, Aquarius. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. It's like, should I stay or should I go? Should I leave? Can we work this out? Some of you could have your eyes on somebody else you feel is more suited for you. That is your answer to prayer. There could be children involved too. I do see a children here. So yeah, we do have the 10 of wands under the deck. Uh, oh, that's the three of wands which is about patiently waiting here uh, for your ship to come in. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is about marriage, um, abundance between two people for the long term. So it definitely could be about a marriage here. Page of Swords, cutting out energies here, having open, honest, truthful communication about maybe manifesting a new beginning somewhere else, reuniting with somebody else that is more balanced for you with the Six of Pentacles. Wow. So some of you definitely are leaving one person for somebody else more suited for you. Some might try to work it out, though. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. All right. So what's going on? What's going on in this um, <clears throat> base chakra and solar plexus chakra for Capricorn? Capricorn, please. Base chakra for Capricorn Collective. Knight of Wands. So yeah, moving forward here, a lot of passion, drive, ambition, 
taking action and the fool taking a leap of faith resetting at zero taking a leap of faith Four of Pentacles, so you may be holding on to your stability, your foundation, holding back, holding on. We're in a time now where everyone's, you know, holding on to their foundation, their basis, their uh, money, <laughs> holding on to their stability. But during this time, I think you're reevaluating your basis here and maybe going after something new with the full energy or uh, taking a leap of faith and moving forward a lot of driving ambition and passion. All right, so what else here for Capricorn? Knight of Cups, so another um, action card. Moving for a lot of compassionate energy, peace, harmony kind of energy. All right, what else here? And the sun, so there you go. Total victory, happiness, joy, success, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family. Wow, so going for your, your uh, total best card in the deck here with the sun energy. What else do we have here for Capricorn? Hangman, yeah. Gaining new, and I said that, reevaluating, getting new perspectives, enlightenment. Everything's on a pause and break right now. So while you're in this reflective mode, being in an isolation, getting new perspective, ideas, enlightenments, to what will bring you peace, harmony, um, happiness, and success and victory. And wanting to reset at zero, taking a leap of faith, and moving forward with that drive, passion, and ambition, which I have that energy here. Um, Reevaluating your foundation. The Four of Pentacles is about that foundation. So, wow. So what is do something different? So we have the Queen of Cups. So something that you totally totally you would be so in love with that is totally aligned for you that would fill your cup to the max feeling again that happiness joy a peace fulfillment the hermit so again thinking about here what you want to do while we're all in hermit mode so we're all in hermit mode three of cups so you know once we can get back out to the social uh social circles working whatever here um Three Cups about reuniting, celebrating, coming together, social energy. It's like, yeah, reach it. Can't wait to uh, get back out in social life here. Eight of Cups. So walking away from something that is no longer serving you, walking to something more fulfilling. Death, yeah. Wanting to end the old ways that are no longer working for you. Again, work, way of living, um, career or something like that wanting to walk away from that and end it it's no longer fulfilling for you realizing that in hermit mode reflecting wanting to be so in love with what you're doing peace happiness joy fulfillment could involve working with other uh, people with the three cups energy in some way shape or form or social groups or something like that what else here for capricorn the world, yeah, closing out cycles and starting new cycles. Closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter. Doing something different and reaching for the stars. Wow, cat. Three of Pentacles. Again, work, career, finance. Working, learning something new, doing something different. Teamwork, collaboration. King of Wands, king or queen. Being an oper uh, uh, <laughs> entrepreneur energy. Leadership energy. New ideas, creative energy. Again, drive, passion, ambition, and the king of swords, having that mental clarity of exactly what you want to do, cutting away things no longer serving you, speaking with truth, clarity, having clarity, to, and now we have the ten of cups upright. This will lead to your total fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every single way, happy home and family. I think once we're out of hermit mode here, you'll be moving forward quickly with this, and this energy with the knight of swords moving forward very, very quickly. Yeah, Ten of Swords endings, ending things no longer working for you, just ending. And Four of Wands here, having a, a better stable home life, more stable uh, grounded foundation, a ceremony, celebration kind of energy, and the King of Pentacles. So being that entrepreneur, leader, being financially savvy and analytical and practical and smart, Wow, and the Ace of Cups, so 
totally fulfilling your cup, peace, happiness, joy, uh, brand new beginning, you know, and love are just peace, happiness, joy, being fulfilled in what you're doing and what's totally aligned for you by spirit. So, wow. A lot of energy here for you, Cap. Wow. Okay. So I do see some of you may be trying to work on a relationship, making it better. Some of you may be leaving a relationship. So however that resonates for you. Uh, over here, following your dream, your purpose in life. After reflecting, now we're all in hermit mode and knowing exactly what you want to do, wanting to move forward with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. Definitely could be learning something new. And over here, same energy too. Going for it, doing something different and reaching for the stars, closing out a chapter, starting a whole new chapter for some of you. Wow. Okay, Capricorn, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.